Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another class of Advanced Microsoft 365 course. And in this course or in this playlist, we have already already uploaded up to 20 plus videos. Means uh, if you really want to understand about how Microsoft 365 can perform the task, how we can handle the services which are available on Microsoft 365 portal. So I think this playlist will, will definitely help you to start your journey as a Microsoft 365 engineer. So if we talk about the topics that we have already covered so far, so I started from the very basic, like if you go through the entire playlist, in the starting of our uh, playlist, I uploaded a video like how to create our free trial account, different types of licenses which are available or over uh, Office 365 portal. We already discussed about Microsoft 365 Admin Center, about Microsoft Intra Admin Center, hybrid environment. Now it's time to understand about the security features, means which types of securities that we can apply over a Microsoft 365 portal. So I'm moving myself to Office 365 or Microsoft 365 portal and give you the details related to the security. This is the panel and I have already logged in with the help of my uh, admin account. So just need to click on dots, go to the admin and it will redirect you on the page of admin centers, right? So you can find multiple admin centers, right? Just need to click so all and uh, a number of options are available admin center securities compliance and point manager identity exchange sharepoint teams and all admin centers so multiple options are available we have already covered the part of identity and we discussed about uh, how to manage the services of exchange admin center we'll also talk about the concept of sharepoint but for now i'm going to click on the security right so this particular dashboard or uh, you can say that this particular admin center can help you to understand about how many types of options are available or how many types of services are available that help us to protect our email environment so multiple option we'll find the multiple option in this particular wizard this is considered as a microsoft defender page right over a microsoft defender page we are able to find n number of features and definitely these features are really helpful to 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 control and manage the security and protect the entire email environment i'm going to start from the very basic right i'm going to guide you about uh, uh, the identification of Microsoft Defender dashboard. So it is a Defender page and in the Defender page, it will give you the information about your security label, right? See, Microsoft secure score as per the security that you did with your account, as per the security features that you have already implemented for this account. According to that, your entire account is 36.19% secure. But our responsibility, but our responsibility, we must need to enhance the security. The uh, if we talk about uh, the 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 means, uh, you can say that uh, um, minimum requirement of security label or minimum percentage required to protect uh, our healthy security environment for your Microsoft 365. So at least you must need to uh, achieve up to 55 percent of security scores. So it's our responsibility. We must need to know about the method that help us to enhance our security label. So what you need to do, we have a multiple option. It gives us option view history means what exactly happened with your account. What are the settings that we have already completed? And this is the another panel that help us to improve your score. Clear. So yes, definitely I wanted to improve my score because 36.19 is not enough to protect uh, to provide a healthy and secure microsoft 365 environment so i'm just going to click on improve your score and it will redirect you on another page right this is the panel this is the panel and this panel will help you each and every security label security related uh, services now score impact points achieved it give you the complete information the total secure the total scores that you can uh, achieve from this particular uh, service 2.79 2.79 so these n number of n number of security features are available and you have to configure each and every part 
up to 75 different services are available some services you have already achieved like as uh, uh, spam detection uh, 3 by 3 means you already configured you achieved all the scores right completed to address means you have to implement it you must need to implement block user who reach the masses limit we haven't configured and it will help you 0.35 percent of security it will increase the value or percentage of our security according to the numbers that mentioned in front of our security so let me help you means how we can use it how we can achieve it so not entire but few things we must need to achieve 2.44 means we have a enough option to increase the value of security so what you need to do enable azure ad identity protection sign in risk policy yes multiple options are available in sign in risk policy our responsibility to open conditional access and over a conditional access we just need to activate sign in risk policy this is the just example i'll definitely try to give you at least 20 plus security features that help us to enhance the security level of our microsoft 365 portal so let me give you one example let me click here and uh, our responsibility to activate so how we can do that it just give you the information whenever we click it it give us option to configure the same policy for your uh, uh, identity sign in just need to click on manage in azure account so azure account in the sense microsoft entirety it will redirect you on page of microsoft intra admin center which is also considered as a azure active directory this is the panel it will immediately redirect you on the uh, on the on the specific portal on the specific uh, uh, page that help us to activate the policy so what i am going to do multiple options are available basically the policy uh, enforcement is disabled i'm just going to activate right first of all i'm just going to activate saved sign in risk policy multiple options are available user ri risky user risky workload risky sign in and risk detection so our responsibility we just need to activate it once you activate we have to wait for a few more minutes back to the security panel again because i wanted to check the impact of our setting that we did that, that that's the security that we implemented definitely it will impact to our percentage of security this is the home page and we have to wait for a few more minutes it's trying to calculate the value of your security means uh, the percentage of our security 36.9 we have to wait because uh, once you configure the policy definitely it will take time to impact in your entire scores Thirty-six point nine, no problem. Back to the user risk policy. I'm just going to configure the policy for all. Create a conditional access policy. Just need to click here. Under the conditional access policy, just need to click create new policy. User risk policy. Select your user. So I wanted to include all the users which are available in. Uh, okay, no, no, not an entire user because it will also impact to your administrator. So make sure the policy that you are to configure, you always proceed with the selected users. Or maybe uh, you need to create a group and add your group in this particular icon, right? So I wanted to proceed with users. I wanted to specify some users which are already available in our 365 page. Let me open the 365 panel and select few users account. GCP, Tata and Telnet. So I'm going to connect with the three different users. I wanted to authorize it for uh, Telnet okay and uh, tata user right because these users are available in our active directory just let me select both the users select 
I wanted to apply this policy for these two different users. I don't want to exclude anything. Next, target resources. Do you want to assign any kind of resource? Resource in the sense, do you want to applicable for all the applications or the selected application? It's up to you. So I wanted to activate for the all cloud application. Make sure do not block do not lock yourself. I'm talking about the admin center, admin account that you are using. Do you want to configure any kind of policy? Yes, I wanted to configure some policy user risks. Just need to click here, select the type of risk medium and done. Sign in risk again, configure for medium and device platform. It's not mandatory because I wanted to authorize our users to log in from any that you any devices so no need to configure uh, about the device platform location do you want to uh, configure policy to fix the login location like you want to log in your users account in only and only india location you don't want to authorize your users to log in with another country in another location so i don't want to configure these types of activity back to the grant access option and in the grant access i wanted to block if your user not supporting these types of tasks, then uh, the policy will be blocked the entire activity. Next, turn on and create. We are creating user risk policy. So once our user risk policy is ready to use, we activate it for two different user. If these user are performing and uh, th these users are performing the suspicious activity, then definitely your risk policy will be automatically activate and automatically block the access of any application from these users right if any user perform the task like as if you, any user uh, feel like unsecure then the policy will be blocked the access of application that you assign in your licenses so we successfully activated we successfully activated the policy means uh, our responsibility to identify how much uh, scores you uh, achieve but make sure guys do, no worry about it because sometime it will take time up to 15 to 20 minutes to uh, add the value of your scores as the scores value that you did according to the settings that you did it will give you the result like as a about the scores that you achieve for the specific setting we perform the task of enable azure identity protection sign in risk policy we have already configured but uh, Unfortunately, uh, which is not applicable so far, you have to wait for a few more minutes. Okay, so we have to wait for a few more minutes and definitely it will impact to our course uh, scores as well. Because we just activated, so you have to wait for a few more minutes. Okay, back to our score. Now, your score will be 38.63. I think we achieve up to 2.2% uh, uh, 2 added in our security, 36.19% to 38.63% we enhance the security. Only because of we configure the policy for our user risk. I hope you guys are able to understand about how we can enhance the security percentage. I'll give you the complete information and definitely our target to achieve up to 60% of security score. We must need to uh, achieve up to at least 60% of score uh, with the help of Microsoft Defender. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much. We'll connect soon in next session and discuss more about uh, Microsoft 365 security. Take care, guys, and do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye-bye.